Hi, everybody. So glad you could join us for today's edition of 10 TV Plus Weather Impact Show. It's Meredith and Aaron. We've got you covered and uh, going to be a very interesting week ahead for yeah. good and bad reasons. Yeah, a lot of things happening. We got warmer temperatures in the forecast. We got some rain happening here this afternoon. We got storms later on this week and maybe a couple of rounds here by Thursday night and maybe again Friday night. Yes, so, so many things going on, but we are glad to give you all the latest details and the latest updates. But I think the big thing for today is just know that there's going to continue to be those chances of showers and yep. storms as especially head into the second half of the day. We did have some areas with rain this morning, but uh, there is more possible, especially in spots where we might have some little bits of peaks of sun. And so as we move forward into the weekend there is going to be rain possible so a lot of different things that we'll be talking about but over the next 12 hours you can see hitting our peak of temperatures in the afternoon and then we'll be on our way back down but you see the little icon showing the rain that's highlighting those rain chances that are in our forecast now i do want to give you a heads up ahead of thursday night this is our weather alert impact this is for strong storms some which could turn severe and all different types of hazards would be possible the unfortunate part about this is it looks like we would have it overnight late Thursday night and into early, early Friday morning. And that could also produce any of these damaging winds, large hail, and there could even be a couple of tornadoes that spin up with this storm system. Now, this is still a few days early and we really have to take our time to work on this forecast to really perfect it with more details coming in. So please stay connected to the team. But just know overnight, you'll definitely want to make sure you have ways to get warnings. As you can see, that severe outlook for Thursday already has parts of our western counties in a level two out of five on the severity scale. And the rest of us, that would be more isolated. But nonetheless, because there is this concern a few days in advance by the Storm Prediction Center, we want to make sure we give you time to prepare. And hopefully things turn out that this line weekends and we don't get anything. But just in case, we want to make sure you know what's going on and you are prepared. So you can see those chances of showers and thunderstorms continue through the afternoon. Three o'clock, you can see some heavier downpours are going to be possible, especially for some of our counties on the eastern side of Columbus. And then even as we go into the commute home, here's five. You can see some of us, even the metro London out towards Springfield, getting some heavier downpours and then continuing to maybe even have another round of some showers and thunderstorms tonight. Most of this dissipates, though, as we go into Wednesday morning, but you can see some clouds start to clear, looking at getting a little bit of sunshine. And then as we move forward, very similar to today, the chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Not everybody is going to get a storm. Not everybody is going to get rain. It is going to be more hit or miss for us. And then for Thursday, you can see Thursday mornings looking great. For golf, yard work, mowing the lawn. The problem is this continual sunshine in the forecast. The more we get, the more unstable the atmosphere gets, the more the chances late Thursday will be to get those showers and thunderstorms that could strengthen or get to that severity level. So for today, though, important to just know we have those chances by the time you're driving home from work for showers and thunderstorms. Again, more isolated in nature. 73 for the high, that cloud cover just really hanging out and keeping us not really from seeing much warmer weather and then we'll have some chances lingering of some showers and storms tonight a mild night ahead with our lows in the 60s and then for tomorrow's forecast those showers again will be scattered with the chance of thunderstorms rumbling in the afternoon and as we look at the extended forecast again we are going to be keeping a very close eye on the weather impact alert night i want to say it's not a day because the day is going to be great it's going to be the night that we're concerned about overnight into early, early Friday. And again, those temperatures in the mid to upper 80s going to be nice maybe to get out to the pool, but to the lake, perhaps if you're Aaron, but we need yeah. to really <laughs> watch things closely. Um, but this is that time of year when we get into the severe season and it's, um, you know, really important to make sure you have those ways to get warnings and you make yep. sure your community um, has ways to get warnings as well, especially if you live in a mobile home or an area that's more rural and you don't have those consistent alerts. Yeah, and nowadays, I mean, with technology or smartphones, you can get alerts through that with the 10 TV app on your phone. Uh, the latest any severe thunderstorm warnings, any tornado warnings, of course, will be uh, sent directly to your phone so you can be ready and be prepared for severe weather. If we see that here by Thursday night, 
and Friday night. But I want to talk about the overall setup that we have going here for really for Thursday. We got the warm temperatures in the forecast. Right. We got the humidity starting to build in and we're going to see this overall setup building here as we look at this late week storm for Thursday into Friday and the the main energy. The storm system itself is going to be centered over Minnesota, but we have all of this activity that's building in for the energy across Illinois into Indiana and even here into Ohio, and that's going to lead to that potential for severe weather with strong to severe thunderstorms Thursday night, and then we could see yet another round coming in here by Friday night, and large hail damaging wind gusts are going to be the main concern with that as we're tracking those storms building through. So again, hail and wind look like the primary threats. We can't rule out a tornado. Also that potential for heavy rain, some minor flash flooding could be a concern, especially if we see more than one round of storms, like I said, Thursday night, and we'll have to watch to see how things play out for Friday night because that could be interesting. Right now it looks like a lot of that may stay just south of Ohio, but still several days out. So we're going to be tracking that for you here through the week. And it's so important, like we were saying, to be prepared. And, you know, sometimes you might feel like there's a little bit of overpreparedness. Like last night, yeah. you actually might have heard a tornado siren on the west side of Franklin County. Such an eerie sound. And we actually got multiple phone calls asking, why are they going off? It was 10 last night. We didn't have any severe warnings out there. So what we did was we reached out to the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. They told us it was a malfunction inside of the siren at Georgeville Road and Sullivan Avenue. So still just wild to yeah. have that going on and so uh, scary. still pretty crazy, but also something crazy happening. The heat and dry conditions across the upper Midwest has been a theme occurring in a, even including Minnesota. This led to several wildfires yesterday. You can see the video right here. A lot of uh, crews out trying to get a handle on that fire. They were there's more than one and it actually prompted some evacuations because of those wildfires. Uh, they were directed to go to the local uh, community shelter for you know, just that area in northeastern parts of Minnesota and still some of those fires are still burning. Um, they're getting contained now, but because the dry conditions are still ongoing, it's likely that we're going to see more fires potentially like this across Minnesota and really the upper Midwest because of all the dry weather they're seeing. They're not getting really much rain like we are here right. in Ohio. It's just crazy. Um, I mean, there were homes destroyed, cabins, uh, you know, it just goes to show how quickly things can spread, but uh, we've been having wild weather all over the place. Check out this video from Italy last night. Mount Etna dazzled observers on Monday night, May 13th, with a spectacular display of volcanic activity as fiery just lava wild fountains. Seeing I that. know. Yeah. Gosh. I mean, you see the glowing ash clouds lighting up the Sicilian sky. Mount Etna is Europe's most active volcano. It has intensified its eruptive activity with frequent and powerful explosions emanating from its southeast crater. The ongoing eruption is feeding two modest lava flows, advancing southward and eastward. Yeah, and I know Mount Etna is one that actually does erupt uh, quite often. And right. just But seeing video like oh that, goodness. just, I mean, how much lava is uh, coming down and just watching those eruptions is just pretty remarkable re remarkable really and just a lot of things going on away. yeah seeing the volcano you know we've had all those fires and not even just the fires in minnesota there's been some burning in iowa parts of north dakota we actually have some fires burning in canada and that actually led to some smoke drifting here into ohio back on sunday a little bit of haze around so we've seen that in you know past summers and if fires continue to burn it could be a theme here again this summer so we'll be watching that as well for you but with fires, we can get the um, the colorful sunrises and yeah. sunsets. I know there's a lot of bad that comes with that with the air quality, but you know sometimes you get the vibrant colors. So send oh, photos yeah, to Aaron yeah. and I and the weather team. We love to see what they look like. Yeah, and if you get any uh, storm photos uh, later on this week, because we're tracking those storms here again, we even had the chance uh, today some scattered showers and right. storms, not severe, but Thursday night and Friday nights could be a really big focus here for the rest of the week. Well, we have you covered, and just know you can always get your weather update here on 10 TV Plus. Of course, coming up later tonight at 6. Chief Meteorologist Jerry Martz will be in. Until then, you can catch more news weather online at 10TV.com. Have a great afternoon. See ya.